fear for the Lord. I can't turn down. Talking too much bread. Time for you to learn now. Up to what they hear and yeah. get offended by yeah. the word. Hey, what's your name again, bro? Oscar. Oscar. My name's Josadia, man. I just, he's making some great points. One thing I want to bring out is because when you think about all those terrible things that happened to the so-called Hispanic people, yes. and that are yeah. still happening today, all of that is symbolized by that very cross that you're wearing around your neck. Yes, Did you know that? Bring it out! That symbolizes your people being raped, uh, robbed of their land, beaten, not allowed to come into their own land. That's what that represents. Right. right. Because that's what they did. When they came over to the Americas, when the Spaniards came over Bring here and said, guess what? You're not, you're, you have to speak Spanish and follow the Catholic religion. They brought a cross over. Hey, when we read that, Jesus never said to, to represent a cross or to wear a cross. That's right. That was done as a way to conquer your people. Right. Right. They beat your people and said, if you don't worship this, you're going to die. Right. Right. That's right. And there was only one they said, you know what, we'll follow this because I'm tired of seeing my children killed. I'm tired of seeing my parents killed, my brothers and sisters killed. Right. I'll wear the cross. Yeah. And that's what you're doing today. What you're wearing represents the oppression and it's enslavement of your people. Bring it That's why God says not to wear those things. Right, right. Go ahead, give me that Deuteronomy 28. You got that? Read that. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other God. So guess what? The Spaniards yeah. came over here. They scattered your people across the land, sent you to Spain, and they said, You have to serve our gods. Right. Oh, so yes. That's why we're saying you gotta take that cross off. You can keep the chain, get rid of the cross. Right, right. Because that's what that represents. Right, right. We've been lied and tricked into thinking that represents a relationship with Christ. Right. But the Bible we read in Hosea 2 and 8, it said not to do that. Right. They're teaching you to sin against Christ, to separate from Christ, right. and to celebrate the death and murder of your own people. Right. 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 Do you understand that? You see how crazy that is? No. God says you're going to serve other gods, Read. Which neither. Thou nor the fathers have known. Because before the Spaniards came over to the Americas, do you think that your people were walking around wearing crosses on their necks? No, you know that's not the case. Bring it out. So we have to ask ourselves, why do we do it now? And we're showing you why. It's a curse. God said it's a curse. That's a curse on your neck. Right. That represents your death of your people. Right. That's what's happening. That's what you're doing. Read on. Even wood. And stone! Wood and stone. What material is that made of? Gold. That's a stone. Right. That's a metal. That's a stone. Right. You have an idol on your neck, brother. You got to take that thing off. You got to take that thing off. You going you gonna to keep wearing that? You going to take it off at home? Why are you going to take it off at home? My grandma gave it to me when you passed away. Your grandma gave it to you when you passed away? Guess what? You can, you can keep the chain. You can keep the chain, but be that sentimental value isn't worth the death of your people. It isn't worth you not getting to the kingdom because that's what's going to happen. God says you're worshiping other gods. Do you get to the kingdom worshiping other gods? Can, can you get to the kingdom of heaven worshiping false gods, worshiping other gods outside of the one true God? No, but that's what you're doing. Bring it out. Look, I get it. I understand it has sentimental value to you, right? You can take the thing off and, and get it smelted down, made into something else. Right. That's what. That's scriptural. That's biblical. That's right. That's something you can do. You, what, you have this, what's this Deuteronomy 7.25. Deuteronomy 7.25. Read that. Yeah. But you got to take the, the thing off your neck. Put it in your pocket or something. But you go, you go walk around. You're saying, hey, I know the history that happened to my people. I know the murder and oppression that we've been through and that we're still going through. But I don't care. I'm still going to wear this and represent that proudly. That's what you're saying. You say, I'm okay with the oppression of my people when you wear that. Right. Whether you believe it or not, that's, that's what's happening because that's, that's what right. that came from. Right, right. We can look at it however we want, but the origins of the thing, it lays out exactly what it represents. You know, which means that's what you're representing. Right. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 25. Read up. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the graven images of the gods of this people that did this to you, to your forefathers, right. that are still separating y'all from the border. Right. 
that are still causing us trouble today. Right. That put us in communities and put drugs in our communities. Right. So now we got violence. Now we live in impoverished areas or we're not doing too well. We're struggling to get by. You know. right. that's, what you, that's what that thing on your neck represents. What's your name again? Oscar. Oscar. So you gonna keep wearing that thing, Oscar? Or you gonna say, you know what? I understand what this represents and I'm not gonna keep wearing this thing. Bring it out. Bring it out. Wear the chain. Wear the chain. Take it off now. Take the cross off. Take the cross off, bro. Take the cross off. It may seem, it's not a light thing. It may seem like a small thing to you, but it's not. Remember everything that it represents. Remember everything that it represents. The only reason why your grandmother wore that thing was because she was lied to. Because they did this to her for, to her parents, her grandparents, and tricked her into believing that lie. That's what that represents. The people that lied to your grandmother. The people that lied to your grandparents. And that taught you that you're not God's chosen people. That you're so-called Mexican. Which means center of the moon. That's what that represents. You gotta take that thing off, brother. You gotta take that thing off. Don't fight against it, man. You gotta take that thing off. That's repentance. Put it away. Put, put the, you gotta take the chain off. Put the, get rid of that thing, all right? You gonna put the thing away? All right, bro, you gotta repent. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.